Given the two squares in a circle, what is the circle's area? Well, we know the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, where r is the radius. So let's see if we can analyze the given diagram and determine the radius of the circle. And there's actually several ways of doing this. If we take a look at the inner square and construct the diagonal, which would be this segment here, notice how the diagonal of this square is also the diameter of the circle. So if we can determine the diameter, we know the radius is going to be half the diameter, which we can then use to find the area of the circle. Also notice how when we form the diagonal of the square, it cuts the square into two right triangles. We have one on the left and one on the right. We also know all four sides of the square are congruent, and therefore both of these are isosceles right triangles, which means the two acute angles of the right triangles measure 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees, and this is 45 degrees, and the same in the other right triangle. 45 degrees here, and 45 degrees here. So we can determine the hypotenuse of these right triangles, which is also the diagonal of the square and the diameter of the circle, using the relationship among the three sides of a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, or we could use the Pythagorean theorem. And let's show both. For any 45, 45, 90 right triangle, the triangle is going to be proportional to the right triangle, where the two legs have a length of one, and the hypotenuse has a length of square root two. So notice how our 45, 45, 90 right triangles have legs that measure six units. So if we multiply each side of this triangle by six, we can determine the length of the hypotenuse. So if we multiply each side by six, notice how the hypotenuse is six square root two units, which is the length of the hypotenuse here. So this measures six square root two units. But let's also show how we can do this using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that for any right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the two legs, and c is the length of the hypotenuse. So notice in our right triangles, a and b are both six, which would give us the equation six squared plus six squared equals c squared. 6 squared is equal to 36, 36 plus 36 is equal to 72. So we have 72 equals c squared. Now taking the square root of both sides of the equation, the square root of c squared is c. The square root of 72 is equal to the square root of 36 times 2. And since the square root of 36 is 6, we get the same value. The hypotenuse c is equal to 6 square root 2. So again, this length here, which we now know is six square root two, gives us the diameter of the circle. So we know the diameter is equal to six square root two, and the radius, which is half the diameter, which would be from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, is half the diameter. So we have the radius r is equal to one half times six square root two, which is equal to three square root two. And now that we have the radius, we can determine the area of the circle. The area is equal to pi times r squared, or pi times three square root two squared. Now let's show some work on three square root two squared. That would be three square root two times three square root two. Three times three is nine. Square root two times square root two is equal to the square root of four, which simplifies perfectly to two. So three square root two squared is equal to 18. And therefore the area of the circle is equal to pi times 18 or 18 pi. So we know the area is 18 pi square units. So we now have the area of the circle, but I do wanna show how to find the radius using one additional method. So let's go ahead and clear off all the information we have here except for the special relationship among the three sides of any 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Again, any 45, 45, 90 right triangle will be proportional to a right triangle where the legs measure one and one and the hypotenuse measures square root two.
Now this time let's focus on this right triangle here formed by the intersection of the inner square and the outer square. The points where the inner square intersects the outer square is the midpoint of each side of the larger square and therefore again focusing on this right triangle the two legs here are congruent and therefore we have another 45, 45, 90 right triangle and therefore this triangle once again is proportional to this triangle here on the right. And also notice how the length of this leg here would be the same as the radius of the circle because it would start here on the edge of the circle and go to the center of the circle. So by determining this leg of this right triangle, we can determine the radius of the circle, which we already know is 3 square root 2. But here, notice how we only have one side of the right triangle, so we'll have to determine the length of the leg by setting up a proportion. Setting up a proportion using corresponding sides to this triangle and this triangle, the ratio of 6 to square root 2, or the ratio of the two hypotenuse, must be equal to the ratio of the legs. So if we label this leg R, the second ratio would be R to 1. Again, the ratio of the hypotenuse must be equal to the ratio of the legs because these two triangles are similar. Now we can cross multiply and solve for R. So square root 2 times R must equal 6 times 1. So square root 2R must equal 6, dividing both sides by square root 2. We would have r equals 6 divided by square root 2. And now if we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, we would have r equals 6 square root 2 divided by square root 2 times square root 2, which equals 2, giving us the same radius of 3 square root 2. So I just wanted to show this because, so I just wanted to show this as well because, so I just wanted to show this as well because there are several ways that we can determine the radius of the circle and then find the area, which we already know is equal to 18 pi square units. I hope you found this helpful.